because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. What? Nothing. This is Coon Kansas for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the grand arrivals here for Joyce and Zhang of BT Sport this Saturday, but also on the card, she's back. Michaela Mayer, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? You always make me nervous because I always feel like you have some crazy questions up your sleeve. You're very, not a lot of emotion on your face, but just go, just start. Okay. I'm not, the singing is done, by the way. You. you said you'd get me back and you did absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, good. If you do that, I'm walking away. We're not doing that. So we are, have positioned you behind your, your poster. Yeah. What do you think? Like, Write the picture. I picked the picture, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but you know, know when better. it's enlarged. No, they know better oh. by now than to just like throw a picture on it without letting me approve it. So I, I picked this. They gave me a couple options. I, I picked that one, you know. So if you could give this person some advice right now, what would you say to this person behind you? Kick the shit out of Leonardo 2 on Saturday. That's it. Just beat the shit out of her. Tell me. Tell no, her. beat the shit out of her. <laughs> no holding back. You think you're winning? Just one more combination to steal that round. Wonderful. <laughs> um, it's been a little while, obviously, since you were last here. Is that all out of your system now? Yeah, I'm good. Um, obviously, I went through the motions, the emotions. Um, a little bit of ups and downs, but you know, that's normal. Like that's the competitor in me. So it sucked, but I'm back and I'm motivated and I'm in a new division now. So I have goals of getting my world titles back, just in a new division. Let me ask you, do you still have the same feelings and thoughts about that fight as you did on the fight night as you do today? Uh, Yes and no. I was obviously very angry on the fight day, so I've, I've gotten past the anger. I really have. Like I can think about that night without getting, you know, super upset or worked up. Um, but do I still believe I won the fight? Yeah. Okay. Well, listen. We know that this is a new direction for you, so I'm not going to keep waffling on about Bam Garner. But is that something that's still in your plans to rematch Alicia? I made it clear that I wanted to have that rematch. Uh, that's all I can do. You know, she shut it down. She shut it down quick, and, you know, she's made a few comments here and there on Twitter about wanting to knock me out, blah, blah, blah. But to me, that's all talk until you actually go tell your team and get your promoter to make a deal. You have all the belts now, the ball's in your court. So um, she doesn't seem to want that rematch, which I think is, she's just stupid for, um, you know. If she was a real G, real champ, she would say, hey, the fans want it. It's worthy of a rematch. The money's there. The viewership is there. And she'd hop on it. But she's not that smart. So I moved up. I moved on. And I'm not going to sit around and wait for anybody. Never have, never will. Uh, she'll come knocking one day. And if not, fuck her. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's quite eloquently put. Michaela, but for the time being, that's to the side for the moment. Because there are a lot of options for you. Obviously, you've got to come through Saturday night and that's not going to be an easy test for you Saturday night is it but you don't want that no I didn't want I feel like I'm in my prime everyone's saying this is my comeback fight I'm like come back from what I didn't go anywhere if anything I'm getting better and better every day so um, I wanted a tough fight Leonardo 2 is going to give me that she's going to bring a little bit of everything out of me you know she, she's a pressure fighter so I have to box I have to bang it's going to be an exciting fight for sure and beating her will get me right back in position for a world title because the WBC interim belt is on the line for this. So she's my ticket back to the belts. Okay, so you've got a job to do obviously this weekend. Before talking of anything, but we are going to obviously speak about some other stuff because May 20th was scheduled as a potential fight, firstly for Taylor and Serrano. Obviously, that didn't happen. Now we're getting Taylor and Cameron. So, first of all, what are your thoughts about Taylor and Cameron? I think that's a great fight. I like fights where you don't necessarily know who the winner is going to be, right? Like you have to think about it. You have to, you know, weigh the pros and cons. And I think that Cameron's a tough opponent for Taylor. And I think it's going to be a great fight. We'll see who, who comes out on top. I really don't know. I think that Cameron has the ability to beat Katie. 
Um, Katie also has proven that, you know, she can adjust and she can fight through it and bite down and, and get those decisions. So, you know, we'll see, but I'm excited. I'll be a fan watching that fight. Did you make the trip over to Dublin, Ireland? I was thinking about it and now it's just coming up so quick and I had so much to focus on with this fight. So I don't think I'll be making it. I think they're like sold out already too, right? Didn't they just, yeah. I'm sure if you wanted to go, they'll find a space for you, Michaela. No, I'm just guessing. <laughs> it's a zone card. I don't know if, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, I might not make it to that one, but um, I'll be watching for sure. Um, now, you have started an OnlyFans not that long ago, but it's been going okay? Yeah, you know, it's fun. I I like posting and showing, you know, providing content for people that are really my true fans. <laughs> I think that nowadays you can get a lot of hate on social media. And so, um, you know, at least if they're going to hate on me, OnlyFans are paying me. So. Do you actually get hate on your OnlyFans? There's people that actually not. subscribe to you. No, no. I'm saying, no, I don't want my OnlyFans, which is like a, you know kind of fresh of breath air breath a breath of fresh air from my regular social media but no it's fun i i'm using it as an opportunity to really start to film content in training camp like i hired a videographer and i'm getting content that i would have never really been motivated to get before because it does take work you know you have to you know find someone that you want to work with and um, all the editing and stuff. But I found someone that's really great and I have a ton of content of Coach Al and Coach K and our, our hard work in the gym. And so that's that's content that I'm, I've am i always wanted and that I'll be able to hold on to forever. But now my fans get to see it too. Have you found a stigma that's attached to OnlyFans? Because like I said, a lot of people don't realize that there are content other than what it's maybe predominantly known for. It's it's definitely an interesting time for OnlyFans because we everyone knows what they're known for, but they are working with a lot of boxers, a lot of fighters now, and they're really just trying to I think you know broaden their demographic and also work with people you know outside of the sex industry and everything that they're known for. So um, that's what I'm doing. You know, mine mine's PG thirteen. We talked about it. There's there's some you know sexy photos on there but that's as far as it goes and um, it's really just more behind the scenes if you want to get to know me and what I'm doing in camp you get to get a little bit more closer look. Yeah, There are a lot of people involved in boxing uh, that actually use OnlyFans and I know I've seen OnlyFans only, only trying to trying to get into kind of more involved in boxing so to speak so I think they're trying to eradicate that kind of stigma that they're attached to and things like you're talking about training yeah. etc. I think that's what they originally intended to do with OnlyFans and then it sort of went in the other direction because people saw that they could make a lot of money with it and those type of ways so um, I think they're just trying to get back to what they originally launched for and that's why they're partnering with a ton of, of fighters and boxers. Well good luck with that anyway. Thank you. Okay uh, Michaela have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish? Um, just tune in Saturday night. It's going to be a great fight if you're in London. Get your ticket. Wear white. Obviously, white is the fight color this time. You know me. I go a little crazy for my fight color. So, Team Michaela, show up in white. She looks a bit like, I don't know, she looks a bit moody there. What do you think? What were you thinking when that picture was taken? Do you even remember? Uh, what is that, that look? Like, pretty. what is that look? Is that like, I'm going to fuck you up look? Or is that something else? It's just me trying to look cute while my arms are being weighed down by three belts and I'm hungry. That's about it. Is that, is that the look? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No problem. Well, listen, wish you the best of luck this Saturday. I'm sure we'll speak to you uh, before, but tune in BT Sport um, and also ESPN in America ESPN. for your fans out there. ESPN Plus in America, yes. Copper Box, Saturday 15th of April. Michaela, thank you very much. Thanks. I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shut up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.